What's the best thing that happened to you in Truth or Dare? I was playing Truth or Dare with my sister's friends, and I dared one of them to do something, and after, one of them says, You could have dared someone to kiss you, and you would have gotten your first kiss. That immediately set a light off in my head, and later in the night, I asked if I could kiss her, and I did. So I got to kiss a really pretty girl. Got dared to kiss my back then high school crush? Couldn't do it, not because I'm kinda shy, but because it was my crush, so I denied and got booed out. She later came to check up on me and asked if I want to do it, now that the others weren't around. Of course I said yes, and we kissed, first on the cheek, then normally. Afterwards she giggled and told me she liked it. There never came anything of it, but I still think of her quite a lot these days. There never came anything of it? Folks, shoot your shot. I didn't come back to these stories after days of being really sick just for you to not do what I know you can. Live your best life, dang it, no regrets. I found out a girl I had a crush on had a crush on me. My friend dared the girl I had a crush on to kiss me. She stared at me and said, I can't do it, he's too ugly, and the other girl said the same thing. I ended up being ignored for the rest of the game. Good times. Edit. I was 12 when it happened. That event was one of the reasons why I grew up with low self-esteem. I'm over it now, but talking about it made me feel better as I never mentioned this tragedy before. Thanks, y'all. P.S. That girl I had a crush on tried to hit on me last year with that time worked out well on ya kind of thought. Edit 2. I didn't think that a lot of people would sympathize with my story. Thanks a lot. You all made my year better. It was a girl's 19th birthday party, and my buddy from high school was there. Everyone was being lame and awkward, so I suggested truth or dare. The game went on for a while, but people were getting progressively more naked and horny as most of them were drinking. I was the designated driver for another friend at the party, and the people staying were getting raunchier, so we split. The birthday girl and my high school buddy hooked up, and they've been together for about seven years now and have a daughter together. I was dared to read Dora fanfic out loud. I was about 12 at a friend's sleepover. I was dared to go home by a kid who didn't like me too much. I walked the two miles home, and as I came to my driveway, my older brother had just pulled in. He had three baby raccoons with him because he had hit their mother while delivering pizza. I got to spend the rest of the night with him, three raccoons, and a cheese and pepperoni pizza watching Nightmare on Elm Street. I am sad to hear about the mother, but time spent with raccoons is time I will be eternally jealous of. That sounds like an amazing time. I'm just sad you didn't tell us about your life growing up with three raccoon best friends. I'm way late, but the first day I met my wife, we played a game of truth or dare. She asked me truth, what kind of clothes on a girl do you like? Then the next day, she showed up to my house in those clothes. I thought these stories just happened in movies. One of the funniest things I've ever seen. We were too old to be playing Truth or Dare, like 20 years old. My friend had only seen boobs in his dad's Playboys. He hadn't even kissed a girl yet. Some woman was dared to show everyone her boobs. My friend was silently stoked. He didn't cheer out loud, but I knew he was freaking giddy. As the woman lifted her shirt and bra, some other goober leaned right in front of my friend and blocked his view. It was over before my friend could react. He complained about it for weeks. We laughed about it for years. Was sitting outside at a college campus and was dared to yell, I love you to the next person I saw. I did, and this dude yells it back and keeps walking. We go back and forth, getting louder and louder as he walks off. Best reaction ever. So my hair is pretty long. My friends used me as a mop to clean the wet floor. It was a fun idea. Wasn't fun. But remembering it is. Ha ha ha. In what way was that a fun idea? Also, you never mentioned truth or dare, and while I should presume that because of the thread, I'm still gonna now think that you all just did this because you thought it would be fun. The best thing was getting my lap sat on by my crush and a kiss on the cheek from her. Was dared to catch a frisbee in my teeth from across the yard, so walked outside and across the yard. Girl wound up, threw the frisbee, figured, ah, eh, this ought to be funny when it bounces off my face and, as a total frickin' fluke, actually caught it in my teeth. Truth. What's the most interesting place you've done it? I've never had hanky-panky not in a bed. Oh, do I have a 2001 Grand Am backseat for you? I had a 2001 Grand Am backseat for her. I wasn't even playing, and someone dared a girl I liked to kiss me. That someone became a very good friend. My two straight male friends got in their underwear and scissored each other while singing Fancy Living Here We Come from Spongebob. I don't know that particular reference, but I do know that somewhere out there is a person for whom this exact thing is their fetish. I'm willing to bet it's the person who dared those two to do that. 
Girl got dared to give me a BJ during recess at school in front of everyone. I was 13. Got suspended. She got expelled. Apparently, I wasn't the first she got in trouble for. Had my dad's friend shake my hand a lot because he must have bragged about his son. My current wife went to school with me, too. Brings it up sometimes. LOL. I'm reading all these comments, and damn, I got dared to go home. Wasn't me, but a girl was dared to mirror what I do, so I made her hug a guy I knew liked her. Edit. For all the people saying I should have blown him, she only mirrored what I did, so I would have to have given the air one top-tier blowjob. A girl, I didn't have a crush on her, but she was nice, flashed me. She also let me fondle her boobies. I know it's lame considering some of the responses here, but that's what I got. I made my friend's boyfriend make out with a four-foot-tall nutcracker. That's the best I've got. Might I suggest you try harder next time? I mean, you had him kiss a nutcracker? There is another option, much more befitting the name of the thing. Broke the ice with my current fiancé playing it. One of the coolest nights of my life. Today I learned truth or dare is an intimate game. My face when nothing interesting ever happened to me. I found out who took my calculator. Ugh, you people make me sad. Got to make out with a girl I was crushing on. After reading all of this, I've decided frick Tinder slash meet me, I'm going to make a truth or dare app. I was at work, high school job at a department store, and the four of us in my department were playing truth or dare, mostly dumb work stuff like go mix up those shirts. Someone dared the girl who had a rep as being experienced, who was a couple years older than me, to give me a blowjob. She told me to take a break with her, I played along, we went to her car, she actually blew me in the store parking lot. I once dared a friend to order me a pizza, so that was pretty good. Holy crap. Okay, sorry everyone else, but if this is a competition, this person wins. Pizza will always, always win. Sorry to all of you who are like, but what about my pee-pee? Screw that, give me some pizza. I got to see my friend's sister's boobs and watch him lick an electric fence all in the same day. Did a belly shot of power aid, was designated driver, off my girlfriend. I got to grab a girl's boob under the shirt. I was 16 and it was awesome. We dared this girl to give a friend of mine a lap dance using the first song that came up when he shuffled his entire song library. Seemed pretty normal until she had to give a three minute lap dance to Cats in the Cradle. A guy told me I was beautiful and that he was too shy to always tell me that because he thought I was way out of his league. I chose truth every time because I was super boring and had nothing to hide. I got made fun of that weekend, but Monday morning the nasty wannabe popular bee went around spreading everyone's secrets and the ridiculous dares they did. Everyone except me. Boring for the win. Honestly, rumors about the stuff you did for a dare are the best rumors to spread. They're fun and people tend to like them. Well, a, a lot of the time, unless you're playing with a-holes. Kissed the girl that would later become my first ever girlfriend, but is now my ex. It was a good two years, though. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the video and have a wonderful day. Cute girl pulled her pants down and full-on sat on my face for a solid minute. I was a late bloomer in high school. By the time I realized I may be attractive to anyone, it was over. Our senior year party for an art magnet school, we played this. A girl I had a fairly solid crush on, popular cheerleader, a good friend, was asked who she had fantasized about, and I was the answer. One, blew my mind. Two, gave me the guts to ask her out. Three, it was a horribly awkward, silly lunch date. Four, built my confidence a lot heading into college. A silly story, but it was a good one. Got to play my very first and only truth or dare game when I moved to the U.S. for college with a bunch of people who I would characterize as moderately to severely religious. I was not, but those were the first people I'd met, so I went with it. Needless to say, it was tame and clean. Worst thing someone got dared to do was walk up to a stranger and sing the national anthem. Reading all the responses here, I never imagined the game could be so interesting and intimately charged. I definitely missed out. You not only missed out, but you also kind of made me sad. Someone dare this person to do something interesting right now, dang it. Made out with and low-key felt up my older next-door neighbor. Had a crush on her for a while before then, so it's a very fond memory. Got to finally kiss a girl I really, really liked. Got to see a hot girl's boob imprints in the snow. Not too impressive, I know, but teenage me had that picture engraved in my head for a while. 
Girl got dared to spin the bottle and give a blowjob to whoever it lands on right in front of everybody. The bottle didn't point at me, but I had a nice view right next to the girl it did land on. Apparently, she had experience dining at the Y. Saw boobs. 10 out of 10. Would see again. I went to an acquaintance's birthday. We spoke maybe 10 times prior. After a while, she was down to just her bra and panties. That's when she was dared to seduce me. Well, she was all kinds of awkward, so her version of seduction was to just tackle me while we were both near naked. That was a great night, and we're celebrating our first year of marriage next weekend. Can I just say I love the number of these with happy endings? Truth or dare, the ultimate matchmaker. I won $20 by doing a dare in which I ran outside in my underwear when it was sleeting outside. Not much, but a friend of mine earned the nickname Big D Chris, or BDC for short, after a game. Crush sat on my lap the rest of the game. My little soldier had a hard time staying focused. Good times, though. Got dared to ignore getting boobs rubbed in my face for a minute. Ya boy can poke her face like a champion. Best minute of my teenage life. Edit. To clear a couple of things up, it was a woman rubbing her boobs in my face, and they weren't clothed. Okay, but like, if you fail the dare, who cares? Boobs either way. I got to motorboat a girl's boobs. I was in a hotel during a school sport trip. My best friend knew I liked her and did me a solid. I got a blowjob from a girl up the street once. All the other times ended up with me jumping off a hotel into the pool or some stupid like that. Why am I still reading this thread? My friend had a game called Cosmopolitan Truth or Dare. It was a card game that had a truth or a dare question on it. We played with a set of twins once who pulled a dare that read, cover your chests in whipped cream and rub them together, and they actually did it. In eighth grade, I was dared to show this girl my pee-pee. We went to a bathroom. I was 13 and horny, so I had a hard-on. I pointed it down, and she didn't know the difference. She told her friend later, and I kind of got a reputation of having a big pee-pee, even though I'm completely average. Edit. Thanks for the gold and silver. This really blew up. I was 16 and my group of friends were sitting in a sauna. Everyone was covered up by a towel when one of the girls said we should play truth or dare. I got dared to show my pee-pee to one of the girls, so we went out to the changing room slash showers that is attached to the sauna, and I showed her my pee-pee and she gave me my first handy dandy. And later that night, we did it. Ended up together for about six years before I found out she had been cheating on me, like, a lot. Oofta, started off so good there for a while, then that twist at the end. But hey, focus on the good memories, right? I got to watch my friend lick the floor for 10 seconds. Group of us were in these tunnels that we like to hang out in, and our friend was dared to give me a blowjob, which she actually did. Best 10 seconds I ever had down there. Ended up dating on and off for the next two years or so. Man, when I went to school, I saw a guy get to suck a girl's boobs in TD. I'm still peed to this day it wasn't me. Edit. Damn karma. I was at like 2k, now it's 11k. I was wonder what post it was, the boob-sucking one from my school days. LOL's Reddit is odd. I never got to play Truth or Dare, but I did play Duck Duck Goose. It was not fun sitting there the whole time. Well, over here in Minnesota, we call it Duck Duck Grey Duck. So hey, it could have been worse. I was dared to drink all of the drinks on the table. They never specified the limit, so I had drinks for the next hour sorted. Someone dared me to kiss a lady that I happened to have a thing for anyway. It was a very long time before we stopped kissing. Dated her for three years. Great lady. Always a little sad it didn't work out. If you had a good time with her for three years, then I would say it worked out for three years. A relationship doesn't have to be forever to be good. I got to watch my middle school friend, it was winter, go down to the yard, strip to boxers, and run a lap around the yard. Needless to say, we were all impressed and hysterically laughing. He did this in the middle of class, by the way. I got to hug a girl. Please leave your story in the comments. I would love to make a video on them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.